Was it specifically a mentor for you, you think, that helped you develop grit or like more of it, like adversity, uh, happenstance? I think grit is something that is in um, each and every one of us. I, I think you just, you have to learn how to pull it out. Some people it's easier than others. Um, for me, I, you know, the hospitality business is not an easy business to be in. Mm -hmm. And to, to do that at a higher level, um, you, you have to be passionate about what you're doing. You have to have hard work and dedication. You have to have support around you. Um, and you have to have an attitude that I'm going to be number one and I'm going to persevere. And that's all there is to it. That type of mentality. And I think that carries over to, into any profession. So what age were you and where were you when you got involved in your first job? I was 13 years old. I was a dishwasher in a, in a restaurant. My brother was the bartender. And, uh, and how, I wasn't what supposed was the to be age gap? Yeah, so. it's young. How, how old is he? How old are you? My brother is seven years older than I am. Okay. So he was 20. I was 13. And was it him that it, was it like he was, your, he, 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 he was working there and then you were like, I want to work with you or I want to be around, I want to get involved? Yeah, you know what? I, I'm not sure how it happened, but I, I, was always, I always loved food and, and uh, I always loved customer service and taking care of people. And from when I was, my mother has a picture of me when I was four years old on a step stool, like making eggs. You know, and I, it all started from, from there. Wow. You know, I had a spatula in my hand. Yeah. And uh, from, and then, you know, my brother was working there, and I, I, I guess I was like, hey, do they need help or whatever? And he got me the job there. And um, just from there, just, even when I got into high school, you know, after we'd go out partying or whatever and come home, uh, my friends would, would stay over or whatever. And, you know, my mom had a big pot of, we call gravy with meatballs and sausage in it and stuff. And my mom would wake up in the morning, and half the pot would be gone. You know, and or I'd be cooking for my friends and stuff. You know, just I, I always part of my problem when I was younger was saying yes to everyone because I always wanted to please everyone. Mm. You know, and I learned that there's nothing wrong with that, but you got to learn how to say no too. Wow, that's big because I didn't figure that out till the last couple of years. Are you still young? <laughs> Luckily, right? Well, hey, 